I'm gonna get this. Ah, I just have a lot of confidence. Let's do this. Nah, it's just not working at all, is it? I'm just gonna... I'm gonna, I'm gonna just leave that, that's that. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I also got glasses. Intro. Hello and welcome back to another video today we're talking about the holy trinity of I mean there's more than three lenses back there but the point is there's three of those lenses that are really important and we're going to talk about them right now look like right now right now and you know what we're going to grab the M50 just for the sake of it but yes guys let's address the elephant in the room my new room it's it's bigger beautifuler beautifuler I mean I've got got a proper rim light on the tripod now I've got a key light I mean it's Technically on a tripod. I mean, it's all technically on a tripod. The only thing that's not really on a tripod is the microphone. It's not even pointed at me. I mean, come on. Come on, Vipo. Beginner mistake. Rookie mistake. But of course, it's also addressed the glasses. I am currently wearing glasses. Now, I need these glasses because I have a lazy eye. I mean, I don't need them because of the lazy eye. The lazy eye is more of a side effect, if anything. Turns out my eyes are really, really good. They're almost perfect. 2020. 2020 that doesn't sound good anymore I mean you think 2020 you think oh year we've had but my eyes are really good individually by themselves they work phenomenally now when they're both open which I don't know if you know this is most of the time my eyes start to just not work together at all which is why I need reading glasses and I don't have to wear these all the time thankfully just when I'm using my phone or my Mac or when I'm making these videos using my camera when I'm doing anything like with my hands if I'm reading a book or playing with cards I just I'm going to wear them 80% of my life now huh so yes turns out my eyes don't like working together that well I mean if I close one eye the eye starts working perfectly fine it it goes oh hello we're working now if I close the other eye again working perfectly fine but with them both open, this one decides to overcompensate a little and instead of, you know, looking where it's meant to look, it just looks inwards. Now the lazy eye is just cosmetic, but the overcompensating of the eye, if left untreated, it could get worse. Thankfully, it isn't as bad as it may seem because with most people who have lazy eyes, they start to see double and I'm not seeing double, which is always, it's a good sign. So it might mean that this eye would be able to recover by itself without surgery. But I might still be going in for surgery to correct it because I need to be looking good for these videos. Okay, now with all that out of the way, let's dive into the subject matter, the topic of today's video. The holy trinity of lenses. For those who have a mirrorless body or a DSLR body and has interchangeable lenses, you know, just, you can swap them out, plug and play. You're ready to go, ready to start shooting off some nice photos, ready to start filming some video. It's a very small camera. It's... Guys, it's not the size of the camera that matters, it's what you do with it. And when I've been talking about my camera, I've already made a video about this camera. It's link in the description and in the i i card. One of the two. We're talking about the lenses that you should be looking to acquire. Because as important as the camera body is, the lenses you pair it with are just as important. Now, every camera kit, you buy because it is optional to just buy the body because once you do have a bunch of lenses you don't want to keep buying the same lens over and over again i mean maybe you do maybe you've broken your last lens i mean then technically you do need it so every camera kit comes with the kit lens which is generally a 24 to 70 millimeter lens now let's quickly talk about that millimeter oh how do i explain this in a way that's not complicated Oh, look at this. I'm, I can look smart while explaining scientific things. Every camera has a sensor. That's the little square thing in there. That's the sensor. 
The sensor is essentially what takes light from the lens and converts it into an image. That sensor, depending on the lens, depends on the cone of light that hits it. So we imagine light going through the sensor, it goes through like a cone. And that cone is basically your what angle of view. So it depends on how much you can see. For instance, this right here that I'm using is a 24 millimeter lens, which means it's 24 millimeters from the center of the cone all the way back to the sensor. So it's coming out like this. It's it's from here and it comes out like this. I don't know if that makes sense. I'll put a diagram up. That's basically 24 mil from the center of the cone to the sensor. The center of the cone to the sensor. Now, as that cone gets narrower, you can see further, which is 200 millimeters. So once the center of the cone is further out, so say on a telephoto lens, the field of view becomes narrower, which means you also get to see further like a telescope. And that's, uh, that's the best explanation I can give you. Hopefully a diagram can explain it a lot better as well. But you don't really need to know that. What you need to know is that the lower the number, the wider field of view. And the higher the number, the more telephoto, the more focal length, the longer distance, but also narrower field of view you get. So low number equals wide angle field of view. Big number means you can see further. Back to the lenses. Most kit lenses are a 24 to 70, so you've got that nice wide angle all the way to 70, which is a, it's fairly telephoto. Hold on, let me just take a photo right now. I'm just gonna, so let's take a photo just right now, and it's gonna be at 24 mil. Now let's zoom all the way in to 70, boom. I'm gonna throw those photos up on screen right now. And you can see the 24 millimeter, you can see a lot more. And at 70, you can see tidal in. So that's your mid-tier lens. That's kind of like from wide, a little bit telephoto. Then you've got your second tier lens. This is a 16 to 33 millimeter lens. And it's basically your wide angle lens. You get a really nice wide field of view. And then you can crop into about 32 mil, which is nice. It's not super cropped in, it's, it's a two times zoom that's all it is but it's still nice when you just want to punch in a little bit it's great for vloggers it's great for landscape real estate photography really good if you want to get a lot of the scenery in the one image or if you're vlogging which i use this a lot for vlogging love this lens you've got your mid-tier lens for your wide to telephoto wish then you've got your wide angle lens which is for your landscape real estate vlogging capturing more at once but then you've got your telephoto lens this is a 70 to 200 and this is going to give you a nice nice zoom on your camera it gives you a nice zoom it's not insanely far but it's far enough where you can capture something on the other side of the street or you can shoot some ducks deer elk animals whatever and you can't get too close because you'll scare them away you can use a zoom lens so 70 to 200 300 yeah that's uh that's that's always nice but of course i'm not just talking about the holy trinity of lenses in general i'm talking about the holy trinity of lenses for the canon efm lineup so all of these lenses they're all efm mounted lenses which means they go on the canon m100 the canon m50 M6, M6 Mark II, M5, M, M, M5, I'm pretty sure the M5 is a thing. And Canon's M series is basically their small mirrorless can, camera liner, which means that their sensors are cropped. So you've got full frame sensors, which basically take advantage of the entire focal length. So if the lens says it's 11 millimeters, that means the full frame sensor can see use that full 11 millimeters and you get 11 millimeters. But as you can kind of see here, this is not a 16 to 32, like I said. It is an 11 to 22 millimeter lens. I don't know if you can see it that well, but because the sensors on the M lineup, Canon small M mirrorless lineup is cropped, it means whatever it says on the lens, you multiply that by 1.6. So 1.6 times 11 equals about 16, 17 mil. And 1.6 multiplied by 22 is 32 mil. These are the lenses you're gonna be wanting if you have the Canon EOS M cameras. You wanna be getting the 11 to 22 millimeter, so 16 to 35. You want the kit lens, which should come with the camera, which is 15 to 45, which equals out, again, you do the math, 24 to 70, roughly give or take 
and 55 to 200, which is more of a 80, 80 to 310, if I'm remembering off the top of my head properly. These are the three lenses you want to get for the EOF, EOF, EFM mounted camera. It's Canon EOS M lineup, and that's uh that's about all for this video. Talked about the lenses, what focal length is. I was so close, so close, and then the battery just kaput, dead. Oh, was it like this? I think it was like that. Cool, let's just cut here and hopefully no one notices. <laughs> so that's about it for today's video. We talked about focal lengths, the holy trinity of lenses, the three lenses you should definitely acquire. You've got that wide lens all the way up to the telephoto lens and then the middle lens for when you're just going around and you don't know what you're going to be shooting. Maybe you'll get some landscapes and architectural shots with the 24, but then you can zoom all the way in to 70 mil. You've got the option. It's there. Now, don't worry that these are EFM mount lenses. Every camera brand has basically the equivalent or they should have the equivalent. You should have the 24 to 70 in your lineup. And again, if it's a cropped sensor, you're going to be looking for something closer to 10 to 18, 11 to 22, 10 to 22, something along those lines if it's a cropped sensor. But these particular lenses are for EFM mount cameras. So EOS M, I've said this before. Now, if all that didn't really make sense, pause the video, take a shot, rewind the video, watch it again, it'll make sense, I promise. Anyway, have a good day, night, evening, whenever you're watching this, and uh, see you in the next- Oh, wait, wait, like, comment, and subscribe, have a good one.